Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and here I am today going over the SPY. And SPY did get up this morning, as I predicted. I thought it would hold early in the morning. It looked like it was going to, but it didn't. Let's just go back here. Here's a 15-minute. Actually, this, this did hold in here. It was 10.15. This is not a good time. It would have been better at 10 o'clock tried to continue higher tried to do it couldn't do it couldn't get over the open open today was 196.57 we didn't gap up big though i'll look at the daily chart in a minute anyways i do think we hold somewhere in here but here it is it's 12 15 12 15 on a friday we still haven't held is this the low of the day in the market well it remains to be seen but i do believe that the market is higher whether or not it holds and stabilizes itself today to rally today or waits until next week we'll have to find out this was tricky today because of the fact that we keep gapping up. And I really thought we'd gap up and hold much better than we're doing because it wasn't anything that I didn't see wouldn't hold. But right now what's going on is that the shorts aren't willing to give it up yet and the longs haven't stepped in enough today except for the gap, except for the gap up, uh, to continue this market higher. The longs did step in all in the last few weeks, but today... The longs have not stepped in yet. So right now the bears are in control. Who's gonna win out? In the overall picture, it's the bulls. But on the live day today, time is running late. 195.55 is the high here. So we came in and sat down onto this person. Well, maybe we will hold here. Let's just look here and see. The only way we hold though is with buying. The only way the market rallies is buying today. Now, we did rally in here, and we're going to continue to rally, and I think we see over 200 next week. There's a possibility we could have seen that today. That's not going to happen. But could we go green on the day? Only if we hold in here. Only if we hold in here. We have to hold right now because it's 12.15. The only way we actually go green today is we hold in here. This drop-off isn't big. It's not massive. It's not, it's not a thing to be concerned about, which is why I'm so surprised we even did it. I mean, right now, we're actually less than a dollar off the high, which is nothing. Nothing for the market. Nothing for the SPY, anyways. Where do we have to actually go to go? Let me just see here. I think over here, like 196-ish. Actually, we're not that far from that right now. I think if we aggressively start to get bought over 196, we could go over the high today. Boy, wouldn't that be interesting? Very tough read of the market here if you don't if you don't if you don't have conviction in the overall trend. I guess that's the best point to put it, which I've always had. So every time I looked at it, I was very very careful to make sure that I was reading every gap right, the downs and the ups. But the overall trend has prevailed and will continue to prevail in the market. It's tricky for people though, because if they're looking for higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows to take positions or read the trends, they're getting bamboozled all over the place. It, you really have to learn how to read gaps to learn how to read overall trends right. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to predict this so well. So we'll see what happens here today. We, the, the buying number today, though, is aggressively over 196, and that's not that far from the high. It's pennies from it. So there's still a chance we could do that and go green on the day. That, that would really be something. If, if we go green on the day today, this late in the day on a Friday, after the drop-off we had this morning, which wasn't big but still unexpected because we didn't hold early, that would be very interesting and actually will create quite a lot of buying. <laughs> it will create quite a lot of buying that I don't even know. We could go up to 198, 199 today. We could run up to 200 in the close today. That, that would be really insane. But we could actually do that today if the market holds right in here around lunch. So we'll have to see what happens. That means we have to go green over the high today and get bought, which we will if we go over the high today. <laughs> it's just that we have to do it sooner rather than later. Have a great weekend, everyone. Email me at melissatthestockswish.com. If you'd like to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, it's March 6th and 8th. Have a great day.